G'day, trendsetters and bad weather's this old ghost through to here from Geraldine. So I've been out in the garage having a bit of a pot around, having a bit of an overthink as well as I usually do. So in the garage we've got the welders, the grinders, the plasma cutters and all sorts of other junk. But life is much like the art of welding, it requires finding the right settings to achieve the best results for the process of joining the steel together. And that embodies the challenges and the choices and the ultimate rewards that define me doing a good job. So just as a skilled welder, uh, that'll be me, I might need to adjust the dials constantly to create that strong and seamless bond, so must we as we navigate the intricacies of life to fulfil a meaningful and successful journey. So just like my skills lie in my abilities to determine the optimum settings for my equipment, in a similar vein, life demands that we make calculated decisions to choose the right path uh, and each choice we make, whether it's pursuing a career, relationship, personal choice, requires that careful assessment of the variables involved. So just as I grapple with the variables of the dials and the knobs and the settings of the welding equipment and of course the steel and everything else involved, it's much like when life presents us with a multitude of options and variables. Each aspect of our existence has its own unique settings which contribute to our overall quality of life. From personal growth to professional ambition, maintaining balance in various areas becomes critical. So much like me knowing my welder, I know achieving that perfect weld is not a one size fits all solution. It requires that delicate balance of factors, experience and attention to detail. Similarly, in life, there is no universal recipe for success. And the path to that personal fulfilment and happiness is highly individualised. And we must be willing to experiment, adjust and refine our approaches uh, as we proceed. And just like there are people out there that know how to weld, but they use twice as many grinding discs as they do welding rods, it doesn't matter because each time they grind and weld and grind and weld, they are learning as they go and they're using each weld then grind as that stepping stone to achieving that perfect result. And even the most skilled welder encounters imperfections in their work, such as you know, the porousness, the, you know, the, the undercut, the uneven beads. You know. Life too presents its share of challenges and setbacks, whether anything really. And it's that one small thing that can uh, knock us back. Just as a welder doesn't let a few imperfections diminish the value of their craft. You know, we shouldn't let temporary setbacks define us. Instead, we can learn from our mistakes, grow stronger, and continue our pursuit of excellence. Life's beauty lies not in our flawless ex ex execution, but in the resilience and the determination that we display when we are faced with adversities. So just remember, life is that grand welding project and we are the masters of our welder, carefully adjusting the dials to create a masterpiece. The journey of finding the right settings, balancing personal and professional aspects, making those crucial decisions and learning from mistakes mimics the artistry of welding. Let us embrace the challenges be mindful of our choices and strive for that perfect weld, knowing that the process itself holds immense value and growth. And in the end, we will emerge as resilient individuals, bound together by the strength of our experiences and wisdoms as we grow along the way. But anyway, that's just a few of my overthoughts. I'll catch up with this later on. Cheers, Robbie, over and out. Woohee!